What's up, people? It's your belief, and today we're going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions about the reworks on the AK-47 Cold War, Krig-6, and the Fara. And also, I'm going to be giving you guys two loadouts, one for Ghost right off the rip, and then the last one is going to be for an overkill SMG class. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so for the AK-47, I feel like the buffs that they did for this gun was actually really good. If you guys don't know, they fixed the recoil, so it's a little bit more manageable. Um, what I'm running on the AK-47 currently right now is a Groove Suppressor, the reinforced barrel, micro flex LED spaznaz grip, and the 45 round speed mag. Um, so far, I've been liking this loadout. The reason why I'm running the reinforce instead of the spaznaz is just because of the horizontal and vertical recoil control, the minus. Um, the AK was already hard enough to control, so I feel like to make it better, you need more effective damage range and bullet velocity. Uh, the AK, you got to use it as a very aggressive gun. It's going to be super hard to beam people on little headies just because of the recoil. Uh, I'm sure like through time, if you guys keep using the AK, controlling the recoil. Uh, but currently, I think the reinforce is the best. Uh, you could try running the Liberator, but like I said, you're not going to be using this gun for pinpoint accuracy, which is why you don't really need the bullet velocity here. I'd rather just go for the damage range and the bullet velocity. Uh, and then the micro LED reflex. I like this sight. I know some people really like the three times. I was trying to make the three times and two times work for the AK-47, but the visual recoil of the scope, like wobbling left and right, is just not it for me. Um, so I tried putting on the LED and I feel like it helps a whole lot more. I haven't tried the SUSAT yet because I know the SUSAT is actually really good with the Creek 6, um, but right now I'm really liking the Microfax LED. Uh, you can try running the no sides and then switching the no sides for one of these two stocks at the end here. But the I've noticed that the visual recoil makes it hard for you to actually track opponents that are relatively far away with the iron sights. So I definitely recommend you try running some optics. Uh, and then for the ammunition, this gun has such good stopping power or I guess damage per, per bullet for a magazine. I was like kind of tempted to try running the tape mags, which is something I might try to do just to get a faster reload because they did fix the reload quickness for all of the Cold War guns. I haven't gave it a try yet, but um, right now I'm running the 45. I might try the tape mags. Um, you don't exactly need all of these here just because it's just gonna slow down your ADS and the AK-47 is kind of sluggish already. But your biggest pro for using the AK-47 is just it has the highest damage for the Cold War um, assault rifles. And it's good to try to get used to this egg gun, just because if you want a fast time to kill gun, kind of like the Amax, this would be a good replacement for it since they are going to nerf the Amax relatively soon. So go ahead and give the AK-47 a try. Uh, I like the buffs they gave to it. You guys should definitely try to level up this gun if you guys haven't already. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Krig-6. All right, and then for the Krig-6, I'm running the HNC Suppressor, the Ranger, the three times optic, field agent grip, and the 60 round mags. So I'm loving the Creek 6. It's feeling like a really nice kind of better growl, I guess. You can't beam super far like the growl, but I feel like it's the Cold Wars version of a growl. So I'm running the Ranger just for the bullet velocity. You, There's no effective damage range and bullet velocity barrel. Um, I, def, I don't know, it's kind of hard to recommend any other attachments. You could try running the takedown. But I feel like the bullet velocity is what you need for this gun just because it lasers. So you want to be able to hit the opponent as soon as possible. And because the recoil is so low, it's easy to just continue keeping your sights on the enemy. So I'd rather just run the bullet velocity rather than the effective damage range. And of course, the three times is great. You can run two times. I've ran the micro LED flags because you have less wobble left and right using the micro led reflex i like it a lot you can run the susat multi-zoom and i've seen the no recoil like literally almost no recoil on this gun with the susat mini zoom the only issue is uh the slower ads that's the only issue but go ahead and give those what four um optics a try and see if you guys like them but the creek six is in a really good spot right now i i wouldn't be surprised if it might be like the second best gun that everyone's using just because it's a lot easier to use in the AK 
Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about what I think is going to be the next meta that everyone's going to be running, which is the Farah. Right, and check it out. This is what I'm running on the Farah right now, which is essentially the last blueprint for the, uh, what is it called? The battle pass from last season. I don't even have this thing leveled up all the way. Okay. And this gun hits freaking amazing. They fixed the recoil. So it's really easy to control. And I feel like you can use this gun with a ghost close, like ghost loadout. Uh, just because you can use it medium to far range and it's actually still really competitive up close compared to the AK-47, right? You can't compete that far out. You have to use like medium close, play very aggressive. And then the Creek 6, you have to play a little bit further back uh, just because the handling is a little slow and the TTK isn't the greatest, but the accuracy is really good. But I feel like the Farah is right in the middle of those two guns. Uh, especially at, like I said, after the recoil buff, and I don't even have all the attachments. I'm just running this blueprint loadout. Uh, if I do have all the attachments, I definitely run the suppressor. And then I haven't seen this last barrel yet, but I'm liking the liberator just for the extra bullet velocity. Um, and of course, I'd run whatever's the one, this middle one here. That's it's named weird, but the field agent grip essentially. And then 50 rounds. I feel like that's good enough. I don't think I need a 60 round mag for this gun just because it just has a better damage profile compared to the Krieg 6. I don't think I need that extra 10 bullets, but it's up to you guys. And then uh, the skeleton stock is great and the Hawk Sword is great. So if, if I was going to put a suppressor on this gun, what I would switch out is going to be the KGB skeleton stock for the agency suppressor. But like I said, the FAR is a great gun and I'm having a whole lot of fun with it. I can't wait to level it up all the way. And I'm sure every, I'm sure you guys seen all these other streamers talk about just how good the FAR is and really is. You guys got to give it a try. All right. And then one of the two bonus guns that I want to give you guys is the Sokov. And that's called the Psykov. So everyone knows this gun was freaking broken, right? Which in it still is. But not in akimbo if you guys run this class setup on the psychov which is the mono the auto barrel whatever attack laser giv new reflex and the 80 round drum mags this is a really good gun for you to run ghosts right off the bat uh, or restock if you guys want to me personally i've been doing this the whole time just because this gun it's not the best gun okay like if you had an smg of course it's going to be better but the Psykov is still very competitive. So I recommend you guys give this class a try if you want to go run Ghost right off the bat. I definitely wouldn't recommend you guys to run Akimbo on it anymore. And if you guys really, really want to run Akimbo, switch this for the 5MW. And instead of the 80 rounds, because you run so slow with it now, switch to the 20 rounds and the Akimbo without the GI Mini Reflex. So that's what I would recommend you guys run. But... I highly, highly recommend you guys run this setup right here. The single Psychos, great alternative if you want Ghost right off the bat. But if you guys want SMG, this is the next loadout you guys have to use, all right? I'm telling you guys, you guys gotta give this one a try for sure too. All right, and the SMG that I am recommending for you guys to start using if you guys want SMG for your guys' secondary, it's going to be the Bullfrog. So I've said it, when the game first started and everyone was using the mag 10 i said if if they nerf the mag 10 the bullfrog is going to be a great alternative um and it definitely is so what i'm running on the bullfrog is the groove suppressor the reinforced barrel spesnaz grip serpent wrap and the kgb skeleton stock so you want to run so the reason why i run the reinforced is just because it gives you the effective damage range and bullet velocity which is very important for some machine guns because if you guys pick up a milano right the bullet velocity is trash and the damage is trash but sometimes you feel like your bullets aren't hitting is because the bullet velocity is trash so i highly recommend you use the reinforce you can run the task force barrel um because this gun has almost no recoil so it's not that bad to use but i'd rather rely on my accuracy rather than the extra damage range and the strafe speed and then running the spesnaz grip this is optional i don't think you really need it if you want to change this for an optic you guys could go ahead and do it you can also use um 
like a larger mag or a fast mag if you guys want to but i don't think it's really necessary and i'm running the serpent wrap here just for the ads speed because they did fix that for the cold war weapons and it's a lot nicer and the kgb stock this is great for the sprint to fire time and your ads while firing movement speed super great gun definitely recommend you guys try this and also a very important thing about the bullfrog is the fact that you have to hit some headshots that is what makes this bullfrog so good i believe the bullfrog has the same damage multiplier for the headshots as an assault rifle so imagine headshot assault rifle damage on an smg movement speed is amazing so definitely recommend you guys try using the bullfrog i've tried the mag 10 and i've noticed the damage from the mag 10 is lacking i did have a fight where for sure i would have won that fight if i had one more bullet but that was what they nerfed on the MAC-10, right? Is one damage, one less damage causing you to need one more extra bullet to be able to get your kill. So definitely recommend you try Game of the Bullfrog a try. It has great accuracy, great headshot multiplier, and a great amount of ammunition in the magazine. So I hope you guys enjoy my thoughts about the buffs that they gave for these three assault rifles. I know they did do the QZB too, but the QZB, it's just it's just not it man it has great movement speed now and great fire while moving moving or whatever but i just don't understand the practicality to it because yeah it's great you can move very, very fast but then you're not going to kill very fast or you're not going to down the person really fast so i definitely don't recommend you guys giving that qzb a try if you guys have a great loadout for it let me know i really did like the the qzb um, and I hope you guys enjoy those two extra classes, one for you to run Ghost right off the bat, and the other one if you want to run Overkill with SMG. If you guys found value in this video and you guys just enjoyed me talking about my thoughts about the buffs, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.